Venice, Florida is an amazing city on Florida's Gulf Coast. And in this video, I'm going to give you 25 reasons that you should move here. The first couple ones, I'm not going to go super in depth because I think they're pretty self-explanatory. But the number one is it's a beach city. Who doesn't want to live in a beach city? There's not a lot of beach cities in the United States of America, much less ones with the number two reason to move to Venice, Florida ones that are in Florida that have amazing weather year round. The benefits of great weather cannot be stated enough. Number one, it'll help your mood. I know a lot of my friends and family that are still living in Wisconsin where we're from originally, a lot of them dread the winter coming and winter comes, they just feel like they're cooped up, they're depressed, it's always dark, it's gloomy, it gets dark so early, and they just really don't enjoy that. Well, in Florida year round, you can be outside, you can be active, you can get that sunlight and that vitamin D that is so important for a better mood. You can get more fresh air and you can be more active year round and stay in better shape. All that's gonna contribute just a better quality of life physically and mentally for you. Number three, this is a personal favorite of mine, tropical fruit. You can grow tropical fruit down here. It's not uncommon to have neighbors that are growing pineapples, limes, mangoes, all kinds of different stuff, papaya, you name it, and then a whole lot of other fruits that I never heard of, and a lot of times those neighbors will have way more fruit than they need, and they'll be more than willing to share it with you, which is a big win. This is a big one that makes Venice very unique, unlike any other city I've been to in the United States, and it's the downtown. It's just got such an amazing, quaint feel, very historic, all the Italian-style architecture. They're keeping it small without too many tall buildings, and it gives the whole area a very unique feel. On top of that, there's tons of free parking in the area, so it makes it very open and well welcoming for people to come into the area and you don't have to worry about how long you're going to stay. Most of the parking is two to three hours for free and then you can just move to another parking spot and stay a little longer if you want. Plus within the downtown there's a bunch of grassy areas, there's a splash pad, all kinds of different beach themed little shops, clothing stores, and a whole lot more. But everything there is very boutique, very mom and pop, very one of one, stuff that you're not going to see anywhere else, which adds to the unique feel that makes it different from anywhere else in Florida. But just on top of that, the landscaping, the plants, the sidewalk, the way they have the flashing motion sensor lights when you go through the crosswalks, how it's so pedestrian friendly, and just the overall look and vibe of it is unlike any other downtown you will probably ever see in your life. And for a lot of people, when they go to see that downtown, it's like, yes, this is where I want to be. This is where I want to live. I can't believe this thing is real. Or it seems almost so amazing that it seems unattainable. If you've been there and you've had that itch, why not go ahead and make the leap? If you can afford to move to Venice, do it. And by the way, if you are looking to move to Venice, my wife, Haiti, who's on most of the other YouTube videos, is a realtor in the area. So if you're looking to move here, you can call, text, or email her. Her phone number is 941-221-1897. Call, text anytime, whether you're looking to move in the next few days, next few months, we'd love to help you find you your perfect home in Venice. Next reason to move to Venice is all the events. It's awesome because there's always something going on, especially during the winter months, but even during the summer months, they'll have like beach parties where they'll have like food trucks and stuff in the area. Area. They have all kinds of events always going in that downtown that I just mentioned, whether it's for Halloween, Christmas, they'll have like a night where they have the stores open super late. The Christmas parade is epic, the farmers markets, and then there's all kinds of other events and one of the other reasons to move the area that I'll get to later in the video, but stay tuned for that. But there's always something unique going on. A lot of it is free events to so just come check out. They have arts and crafts festivals, a shark tooth festival, which we'll talk more about that in a little bit, and a whole lot more. So even though you, like, you might get used to the city after being here for a while, there's always something new happening to keep it fresh and exciting. Next reason to move to Venice, Florida is the restaurants. I love me some of the restaurants here in Venice. Now there's way more that I can go over in this video. In the description, we'll link you to another video that goes over some of our favorite restaurants in the area. But off the top of my head, some of my favorites and people in the area's favorites would be Brew Burgers, Suncoast Cafe, which is amazing. I really like Gold Rush Barbecue. A lot of people like a lot of the different seafood places like Crow's Nest, Pop Sunset Grill, Nicomo's. And then there's another really, really important one, but I'm actually making it one of the reasons to move to Venice. So Stay tuned for that one later in the video, but that place is amazing. There's a couple good French restaurants and a whole lot more, but go ahead and check out the video that we're linking in the description if you wanna get a more comprehensive list of all the awesome places to eat in Venice. Next reason, and this is again one of those things that really stands out compared to a lot of other places that I've ever been, visited, lived, and it's the friendly people. Venice does friendly better than just about any other place I have ever lived. Actually, it definitely does it better than any place I've ever lived and probably better than any place I've visited. The people are just so warm and welcoming everywhere you go. I think a lot of that is because there's a lot of retirees here and a lot of families. And a lot of them are just in a very relaxed mood, uh, especially during the winters. There's a lot of people here on vacation or, you know, just doing the snowbird thing for a few months. So a lot of them are super chill. You know, they're just 
looking for people to talk to. Where are you from? There's always great small talk to be had because there's so many people here from all over the United States, even outside of the country for that matter. We got people here from Ukraine, Canada, France, like all over, like you name it. And there's a chance that you could bump into someone from a different country, but very, very, very likely from a different state. So that makes things interesting. And the fact that everyone is from these different areas and looking to have some small talk allows you to get to know a lot of people from different areas. And that's something very unique about Venice. Next reason to move to Venice, and this is something kind of new and exciting to the area, definitely new in one aspect, and it's Welland Park. So this is an area, a new development that's kind of Northport and kind of Venice. A lot of the addresses are going to be Venice addresses, and it's a brand new master plan community. So a lot of the communities have been there for a while. However, something that's new to the area is their brand new downtown that recently got somewhat completed. I guess, you know, the overall structure and the buildings and everything's there, but a few of the restaurants and stuff like that are just opening that hadn't been open. So maybe by the time you watch this video, all the restaurants will be open, but that is super exciting because it's really close to Venice. And that downtown is, depending on where you're living, maybe as close as like a five minute drive and up to, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes max if you're, you know, on the further end away from Welland Park. But there you've got a brand new, amazing downtown with a big lake, walking trails everywhere. A splash pad there as well shops restaurants so it's super exciting to see that coming and there's more coming yet they're like in phase one right now and all the buildings are there for that and there's a playground and then phase two that's happening right now right as i'm filming this they're starting to get that going so there's going to be more buildings and development and things like that coming to the area more commercial stuff shopping restaurants and things along those lines but that being so close in the area and kind of part of Venice is really awesome because now you have two different downtowns to pick from and a whole lot of exciting new things that are going to continue to come to the area. So even if you love it now, you'll probably love it even more the longer you stay here. Next reason to move to Venice, Florida is when you consider Welland Park plus Venice, there is a ton of different housing options for you. You've got everything from condos to townhomes to freestanding homes in HOA communities, in non-HOA communities. There's two-story homes, there's bungalows, there's Cape Cods, like you, you name the kind of home and we've probably got it here for you. So it gives you a lot of different ways to live. A lot of people want to not live in an HOA. They want to have no restrictions. They want to be able to do what they want with their yard and you know maybe have a camper or an RV or a boat in their you know driveway or maybe in the backyard that's a-okay if you're living in like say like south venice area you've got some hoas that are a little bit lighter on their restrictions and communities that maybe have a little bit you know more restrictions but you know not going hardcore like venice gardens and then you've got a lot of like planned communities like in the welland park area and sprinkled all throughout venice that are going to get you a little bit more of the sidewalks and the street lights and have a few more restrictions and, and you know make sure everyone's houses are looking a certain way if, if that's you know something that's appealing to you and important to you and then you've got condos and townhomes too if you want to have a little bit more of a low maintenance lifestyle maybe downsize you know and just get out and about and do more and have less house to take care of and less maintenance to take care of with your lawn and that kind of stuff you got those options so no matter what type of living you're looking to do there's something for you in venice the next reason to move to venice is something that's super unique to venice i've only seen this in one other city in florida we actually did a road trip checking out all the different beach cities from miami all the way up to jupiter we checked out Cocoa Beach, we've seen Port St. Lucie, and a handful of the other cities on the Atlantic coast. And then we've seen all the cities from Tarpon Springs, which is basically north of Clearwater, all the way down to Naples on the Gulf Coast. And the only other city that has this is Jupiter on the Atlantic coast, and it's a jetty. So if you don't know what a jetty is, it's, it's kind of like a fishing pier, but it's a little bit more level with the water. It's not, you know, like elevated. And then there's just a bunch of rocks on the side. So it goes really far out into the ocean, which is really cool because when you go out further, there's a really good chance. And actually, sometimes even by the base of it, you can see dolphins, manatees, all kinds of things like that. And it's just a really cool spot to go check out sunsets, just relax and watch the water while you have a bite to eat. There's like a little restaurant slash bar shack there called Jetty Jack's that has drinks you can get donuts burgers hot dogs things like that that's also a great spot to catch the famous christmas boat parade that venice is very well known for and just in general it's a hot spot for a lot of people just to come there to hang out to relax to check it out and just chill for the day next reason to move to venice and i love this about venice we have some amazing parks i mean amazing so on venice island which is probably the most popular spot in all of venice there's tons of parks there everywhere a lot of them are very well shaded with lots of oak trees. So even a hot day, you can go out there and relax for a while, take a walk. A lot of them have walking trails and signs with like history of Venice. And I'll have like a little picture of, you know, maybe a landmark thing like the jetty and things like that. And then we have the incredible heritage park, which actually connects the downtown to the main beach, Venice beach, which that is filled with lots of palm trees, oak trees for shade. And then two really 
famous in the area of banyan trees that are really, really big with lots of shade, really cool trees. And basically that whole park is just like this wide strip of grass and walking trails with those trees in the median between Venice Avenue going one way and the, the other one way of Venice Avenue coming back towards the downtown. So you can walk that all the way to the beach. There's benches and swings along the whole path and a whole lot more. It's just a really beautiful walk. And again, the shade is nice. The breeze comes through from the ocean and it's really cool to be able to just walk from the downtown right down to the beach in such a scenic atmosphere. Also Shamrock Park, that's a huge park. Lots of walking trails there, playgrounds, basketball courts, tennis courts in the downtown right next to the downtown in between that and heritage park there's tennis courts basketball courts pickleball you got pine brook park which has frisbee golf you've got tennis courts there basketball awesome walking trails and again a whole lot more there's just so many parks in the area that i can't go through them all in this video but yeah we do parks and we do them really really well another reason to move to venice if you like to golf we've got you covered lots of golf courses in the area everything from a lot of public golf courses to some of the gated communities have their own private golf courses there's one across the street from the beach near one of the other hot spot areas that i told you i was going to tell you about later in the video but yeah basically if you like to golf Venice is a golfer's paradise. We have a lot of options for you. So you can play all kinds of different courses and always have something new to challenge you and give yourself some different scenery. Next reason to move to Venice, very, very, very low crime city. I don't think I have to say a whole lot more about that other than the fact that everyone wants to live somewhere where they can feel safe, number one. And number two, I think a good example of this is our Christmas parade. Like I mentioned earlier, it's pretty popular and famous and well-known in the area. One thing that people used to do about two to three years ago before Venice stopped allowing this was they would take even like recliners and sofas and lawn chairs and things like that. And they would put them out one to two days before the Christmas parade just to get a good spot and leave them sit there. If that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about how safe the city is, I don't know what would. The next reason to move to Venice that goes along with that is a small town feel. So I mentioned friendly people, I mentioned low crime, and that alone probably gives you an idea of that small town feel that it has. But there is just something about the way everything looks in the area. It just has a nice charm to it. It feels quaint, it feels safe just looking at it. And it just feels like an area where you can become a part of the community and like you can get to know your neighbors. You know, not all cities have that feel necessarily. Some of them have a little more of that hustle and bustle or maybe just seem a little more rough or whatever the case may be. But Venice, yeah, when you go through it, if you've, if you've ever been through it, leave a comment, let us know what you think about, you know, when you drive through Venice. But if you haven't been through it, I, I can tell you right now, once you do, you'll see it and you're like, yeah, I could see myself living there. Next reason to move to Venice, boating and fishing amazing city for boating and fishing. You got the intracoastal waterway that has, you know, access basically to get you out to the Gulf to get, you know, all your deep sea fishing. If you want to do that shrimp, all that. Kind of, I, I can't talk on that too much because I'm not a seafood person myself and I'm not into fishing because I'm not a seafood person, but I've heard a lot of people talk about all the different things that they catch everything from grouper to shrimp to, uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. But on top of that, you don't have to necessarily go on a boat to go fishing. There's all kinds of other spots you can go fishing in Venice. A lot of people will do it from the shore. There's another place that I'm been keep teasing about that I'm going to talk about in a little bit that you can go fishing and the jetty that I mentioned earlier, that's a great spot to go fishing. So yeah, if you're into being on the water, if you're into boating, if you're into fishing, Venice is a really, really good spot for that. And it's kind of part of the reason that this area has become so popular, which brings me to the next reason to move to Venice. And yeah, it's becoming a little more popular. It's growing. And with that growth means more stuff coming. So really recently outside of the new Welland Park downtown being built in actual Venice, there's a whole new like strip mall area, basically with all kinds of new restaurants and shopping and things like that. There's a joint chiropractic that we go to all the time. There's a massage place. There's a new Mexican restaurant, pineapple tequila, kendo, which is like Japanese and sushi, a whole lot more stuff in there. There's a new Bells and Home Cedric for shopping. There's a Marshalls and a Burlington. Those are probably only like three years old at the time of filming this. And there's even more stuff coming towards the north end of Venice by 75. And there's even a few small pockets on Venice Island where maybe old buildings are coming down and new ones are coming up or a little bit of the remaining empty land is being used to build new commercial like restaurants restaurants, shops, and things like that. So there's a lot of exciting new things coming to the area. And on the grocery side of things, that new strip mall in Venice that I was telling you about, they actually have an Aldi that was just built and opened about uh, two and a half to three years ago. There's a Costco coming to the Welland Park area. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming to the area to keep things exciting. And I think that's a great sign that there's all these new things coming to the area and it is so popular because that's a sign that the city is growing, which is good because there's a lot of cities, like example, the city that we're from in Wisconsin, 
I wouldn't maybe say it's dying, but it's, you know, it's very stagnant. You know, there's not a lot of new things coming to the area. So sometimes that can make the city a little boring or there's a lot of cities, you know, in the Midwest that are maybe dying out. So to be on the flip side of the coin and see that there's new stuff coming to the area, it's great to be a part of that and have new things to look forward to and know that your city is going to be A-OK -okay for years to come. Next reason to move to Venice, I love this and it's not unique maybe to Florida in general, but I think it's probably one of the top areas in Florida for this, and it's the wildlife. And the reason I say it's one of the top areas in Florida is because we're actually a bird sanctuary city. So there are just so many tropical birds, pelicans, storks, heron, uh, all, ki all kinds of birds. I can't even go through the entire list. And some of them, like I see, I'm like, I don't even know what that thing is. But it's <laughs> cool to see a lot of birds that you don't even know what it is because then there's something new to see, right? And that keeps things exciting on that side of things. But then you've got your things like gators. Yeah, a lot of people are worried about them, but really you don't have too much to worry about that. As long as you respect them and keep your distance, you're fine. We literally have a pond behind us that we see a gator in all the time and have never had a single issue whatsoever. Most of the time they're in the water, but to me, it's like I'd rather have the gator than not just because it's exciting to kind of keep tabs on it and see what it's doing. And then if he leaves and a different one comes, it's just fun to do that. And then of course you got all the sea life, like I mentioned earlier, manatee dolphins, tropical fish maybe you'll see occasionally. Plus then there's all kinds of other wildlife on the land that maybe isn't common to where you're from, which would be like gopher tortoises, armadillos, lots of different turtles like soft shell turtles. There's bobcats. It's super rare to see one of those, but I have seen some in real life a couple times and a whole lot more. Those are just the ones that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Next reason to move to Venice is lighter traffic compared to most of Florida. So Take this in context because some people come to Florida and they think the traffic is nuts, like Orlando for sure, Tampa kind of, Miami definitely. So compared to them and even like a lot of the Atlantic coast like beach cities, to me the traffic is a lot more intense, aggressive, and challenging than Venice. Venice though compared to maybe if you're from a small town Midwest might seem a little busy. So it's lighter in comparison to a lot of Florida, not necessarily lighter in comparison to where you're from. There are roads like Tamiami Trail, which is 45 miles an hour, three lanes. So if you're not used to like three lane driving or 45 mile an hour driving in the city, then yeah, it might be a little bit much for you on that road. However, outside of that, most of the roads are one lane. They're going to be a little bit slower, you know, 35 miles an hour. There's a couple other roads that are, you know, two, three lanes, 45 miles an hour or expanding to be that like River Road. That's another example of the growth of the city. That's, that's a road that's being expanded right now to accommodate a little bit more traffic. But yeah, compared to almost every other city that you're going to go into Florida, I think it's on the level of like a moderately busy city or below that. You know, compared to like in Orlando, if you've driven through there or Miami, though, this is going to feel like a breeze. And keep in mind, of course, like any city in Florida, there's a seasonality to it. Orlando, I'd say, is a little bit more kind of steady throughout the year because there's a lot of tourism still in the summer with families going there to Disney and things like that. But most of the rest of the Florida kind of gets an influx during the winter months. So the traffic will get a little bit more congested There's because there's more cars on the road because there's more people down in Florida that time of year. But the summers, man, they're a breeze, like especially in Venice, so easy to get around town hardly any traffic so yeah if you're looking for something lighter traffic though even in the winter months i'd say it fares much better than a lot of the rest of the cities in florida even like sarasota just to the north of us they get way busier and more congested and i'd say a little more aggressive than here in venice next reason to move to venice and this is really unique to venice we are known as the shark tooth capital of the world and there's a ton of seashells so what does that mean that we're the shark tooth capital of the world are there all kinds of sharks in the water well, there might be a few. Of course, there's sharks in the water, but like it's not like they're swarming all around the, you know, just outside of where you would go swimming. But the reason we have so many sharks is there's actually deposits way far out. And each, even in like your lawn, if you were to dig, you might have the chance of finding some from prehistoric shark teeth. So these shark's teeth are black for the most part, and you can find them sometimes walking along the beach. Like I said, sometimes even if you were to dig into your lawn, you might be able to find some potentially. But the main way you'll be able to find them is if you just go into the water just a little bit further from the shoreline, especially like after a storm, there's a lot of, you know, shark's teeth and seashells that'll come ashore and you can find a ton of them there. One of the really popular spots to go find shark's teeth would be Casperson Beach. Casperson Beach is pretty unique because there's some really, really big rocks along the shore, but it's also known for how many sharks teeth you can find there. There's literally a spot that's always there but that just keeps washing up more and more sharks teeth in seashells to the point where there's literally a mound like this tall from here to here 
of like shark's teeth and seashells and it goes like this wide it's crazy like and it goes for i'd say eight to ten feet long and it's just like this mound of sea you can like just keep digging and digging and digging and it's all seashells and shark's teeth a lot of them are kind of broken up though so if, and a lot of people know that it's there so they pick through it but that should give you an idea of how much you can really find. But not just at Casperson Beach, literally all the beaches in the area, you can find shark's teeth. A lot of people will use a shark tooth sifter, which I don't think that's actually the name of what it is. It's technically just a sifter that was supposed to be used for something else, but a lot of people use them here and you can actually buy them at Walmart because it's such a popular thing here to go look for shark's teeth. So that's something kind of unique. And like I said, seashells too, tons more than you're gonna see on a typical beach in Florida. Next reason to move to Florida, if you got a dog, this is the spot for you. One of the very few beaches in Florida where not only can you have your dog on the beach, you can have it off leash. There's not a lot of beaches in Florida where you can do that. So that's really fun. It's definitely a different experience going to the beach with your dog. And I can guarantee you this, they are going to have a good time. They're going to love going in the water, playing in the water. If they've never seen waves for the first time, that's exciting. When we go there with our dog, like literally she's just whining the whole time if she's not in the water. Like you know, we'll think she needs a break and let's come on the sand. And she's just whining the whole time because she wants to get back into the water. So if your dog has not been to a beach before, get down here, bring your dog. They're going to have a good time and definitely consider moving here so they can do that more often. They will love you for it. Next reason move to Venice, this comes kind of back to the small town feel, low crime, good schools. Great city for family because there's good schools. Venice's middle schools, high schools, all that kind of stuff. Like all of Sarasota County really has really highly rated schools. Plus there's new schools coming to the Welland Park area. They've already got the College Preparatory Academy, which is K through eight. And they got a new high school coming to Welland Park as well. But yeah, Sarasota County has very, very good schools. So rest assured, if you got kids and you're thinking about moving here, this is a great spot to do it because we have some of the highest rated schools in the state. Next reason to move to Venice is the one that I've been teasing a lot of the video and it's Sharky's. Sharky's is a restaurant and there's actually another one uh, on the upstairs called Finn's. And so Finn's is a little bit higher end. Sharky's is a little bit more, yeah, just like standard price food. And so they got like somewhat of a tropical twist on their food, tropical drinks, a tiki hut, can't beat the vibes because it's right on the beach. So you got the beach there. It's actually just down a little bit ways from where the dog beach is. And yeah, the food is great. The vibes are amazing. If you've never been to Venice and you talk to anyone that's been here, one of the things they're going to say is, oh, you got to go eat at Sharky's. Like it's one of the like things you got to check off your list when you go to Venice. So that alone should tell you that you need to go there. But yeah, I love Sharky's, great food, and just great to go to the bar under the Tiki Hut, get a tropical drink, enjoy the breeze coming off the ocean, watch the waves and relax. And if you're looking for something else to do, that brings us to the next reason to move to Venice, and that's the fishing pier, which is right by Sharky's. So the fishing pier goes a ways out. Unlike the jetty, it is elevated. And on a really calm, clear day, you could actually see all the way from the top of the surface, so elevated to begin with, of the pier, down to the surface of the water, all the way to the bottom, which at that point, at the end of the pier is probably like 10, 20 feet deep. And I've literally seen like tropical fish. I don't know what they were. They have like orange and white stripes, almost look like Nemo from Finding Nemo. So maybe a clownfish, but I've seen them from the pier from the top. Now, it's not always gonna necessarily be that clear to do that, but it's cool that you have the ability to do that. It's a great spot to hang out, relax, catch sunsets. But the biggest perk is, you don't need a fishing license to fish there. And they actually have bait and poles and things like that that you can rent right there as well. And if you ever go to the end of it, you can see it's a very popular spot to go fishing. Another reason to move to Venice is live music. There's a lot of live music going on in the area. Now, don't think like big concerts, you know, like you're not gonna get like a huge band and a huge arena type of thing. But what you will get a lot of is one to two person groups, you know, maybe just playing at a restaurant or, or playing down by Venice Beach. A lot of times Daiquiri Deck will have, you know, a musician playing there. And a lot of other bars and restaurants will have like bands and musicians playing. And sometimes you will get some of the bands that are like three, four people. But we're talking everything from people playing like cover songs, classic oldies. We've seen people playing bluegrass music by Venice Beach under the pavilion, jazz music, and a whole lot more. But it's just great to have that throughout the downtown and really all of Venice. A lot of the restaurants will have that kind of stuff and to be able to go see a lot of it for free. Another reason to move to Venice is the location. It is an amazing location. Here's why. In Venice, again, we got Welland Park that's, you know, just being built. That's just a few minutes down the road for us. But also just a few minutes away is 
Inglewood. They've got a downtown, one of the best farmers, best and biggest farmers markets I've seen from a small town in Florida, for sure. It's like a smaller, a little more rustic, old Florida feeling beach town. So you got that downtown area in Dearborn Street. Then if you just go closer to the actual beach area of Inglewood, they got almost like a downtown type deal there. And the beach has a much different feel. It's got like a boardwalk along it. But then also if you go a little bit further inland, you've got Northport, a lot more commercial shopping there, all kinds of, you know, bigger chains along Tamiami Trail. However, if you want a little bit more of a big city feel, you can go just about, eh, depending on where you live, anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes north of you, Sarasota. So the south end of Sarasota has got some stuff like uh, the Gulf Gate area with the restaurants and shopping there. It's got kind of like a more of an old Florida feel, kind of a beachy feel to that. You got Siesta Key Village, you got downtown Sarasota, there's St. Armand Circle, world famous Siesta Key Beach. You can keep heading north to go to St. Pete, Clearwater, Tampa, that huge metro there. You've got the UTC shopping area, which is kind of towards Lakewood Ranch, which is basically north of Sarasota and inland a little bit more and, and sort of south of Bradenton and inland. And then that whole Tampa metro, like I mentioned, that, that's about an hour north of us, so not too far. If you to get to Disney World, that's only about a two hour drive to get to that end of Orlando. If you want to get more into the actual city of Orlando, you're talking about two and a half hours. South of us, we've got Fort Myers. That's about an hour, hour and a half, depending what part you're trying to get to. And you can get to Miami in about three to three and a half hours. So it's really not too much of a drive to get to a lot of the stuff in Florida that maybe you would want to go do outside of Venice if you want to get away from that sort of small town feel. Or again, kitty corner to us in Inglewood and Northport if you want more small town stuff, but just something different. You got those right there. If you are looking to move to the Venice area, call, text, or email my wife, Haiti, who's on most of the other videos, 941-221-1897. Whether you're looking to move in the next few days or the next few months, we'll always have your back. We hear from people all the time and we love it. If you want to know more about what it's like to live in Venice, Florida, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications and check out this video because there's a lot more information for you there. And if you found the video helpful, hit the like button. We'll see you in that video next.